every year in April, the world of content creation and delivery meets in Las Vegas at the NAB Show. With over 100,000 attendees and 1,700 exhibitors, NAB is the largest U.S. show catering to the needs of broadcast and connected media professionals. The Fraunhofer booth is the meeting point for everyone interested in top-notch technologies for content delivery. Known for the invention of the MP3 format and co-development of the AAC format, Fraunhofer IIS provides the broadcast and streaming industry with solutions for the efficient delivery of content to the consumer home. At NAB 2015, Fraunhofer IIS hosts the MPEG-H Audio Alliance. The MPEG-H Audio Alliance is a collaboration of the three industry leaders Fraunhofer, Technicolor, and Qualcomm to develop and market a TV audio system based on the recently approved MPEG-H audio standard. MPEG-H audio is the next generation system for a personalized, interactive, and immersive sound experience for consumers of broadcast TV and streaming services and is being considered for upcoming TV standards such as ATSC 3.0. At NAB, we are demonstrating a complete system so our visitors can see we have the technology to implement our system in existing broadcast facilities. We have put together the MPEG network, a small but complete broadcast network to show an end-to-end -end solution. The first station of the MPEG network is a remote truck operating at a sports event in Aspen, Colorado. The second station is the Network Operations Center at the MPEG network headquarters in New York. Third is the local affiliate station WMPG-TV at Birmingham, Alabama. Finally, the broadcast signal is played back in a consumer's living room. All four stations are packed together at the Fraunhofer booth to enable visitors to experience the benefits of MPEG-H audio and to show what it takes on the broadcaster's side to make this experience come to life. Our remote truck broadcast from a sports event in Aspen, Colorado. I'm Dennis Baxter and I'm responsible for the sound mix. Since we don't have a real event here, we're using audio and video recordings we did at a major sporting event. We did channel-based audio recordings at the event, but as an alternative, MPEG-H audio also supports higher order ambisonics for scene-based capture. The pre-recorded audio from the server goes to the inputs of a Calrec RMS mixing console, and the picture goes to the video monitor. I'm mixing an immersive sound signal which catapults the end consumer right into the action of the sport. One part of this immersive signal is the sound effect of a snowboarder riding up and down the halfpipe. The sound is a dynamic object which I can pan using a joystick controller connected to the Younger MPEG-H audio monitoring and authoring unit. In addition to dynamic objects, I can also create interactive objects from other sound inputs. Interactive objects such as additional languages, commentary tracks are interesting to the end user because they can be adjusted at the home according to preferences. Inside the monitoring unit, the object control data is used to render the object to my speaker channels so I can hear what it's like and the same control data goes to the MPEG-H encoder. We also have a loudness panel that shows the dialogue mixes we're making. Each of these shows the integrated loudness for the show with that dialogue object which makes it easier for me to keep an eye on them. After adjusting all of this on the Younger authoring and monitoring unit, the complete SDI signal, including the control data signal on one of the audio channels, is sent to the contribution encoder. The control data includes loudness, dynamic range control, the dynamic object motion, and the data for interactive objects such as dialogue or effects. The output of the contribution encoder is a transport stream which goes straight to our headquarters in New York City, right next door where Jim DeFilippis is working as master control operator. Welcome to the MPEG Network Distribution and Operations Center. I'm Jim DeFilippis, EIC. Here, we take in signals from around the world, including Aspen, Colorado, where we're covering a live winter sports event. Through the magic of MPEG-H, we can deliver immersive audio in a variety of different formats, including dynamic objects and alternate language tracks. However, we're using conventional video production equipment and distribution equipment. Um, we use up to 16 tracks in the embedded audio of HD-SDI. We also have installed our new Younger Monitoring Unit. This unit provides us the ability to uh, look at and register the metadata, as well as examine the loudness of the program, evaluate the uh, sound quality, 
as well as pass it along to our distribution and emissions encoders in the compressed format MPEG-H to our affiliates. In the next room, you will see WMPG TV of, Al of Birmingham, Alabama, um, and they will show you the abilities of a local station. My name is Jim Hillson, and I'm working today as the Master Control Operator at WMPG TV. Here we receive the transport stream from the network. It goes into the decoder and we get an HDSDI feed. After inserting local commercials, the video and MPEG-H audio goes into the emission encoder. Here we insert our local commercials. We can edit these files directly in a standard video editor. We are airing the commercial in several different languages simultaneously to increase their reach to the target audiences. In addition to the over-the-air signal, WMPG also sends its program to WMPG.com for internet delivery. The final program of WMPG TV can be seen in our living room in an immersive environment. With MPEG-H, we can bring interactive audio into our living room. Here we can select between the different presets of the audio signal or even make our own audio mix. In addition to its broadcast properties, the MPEG network also runs a cable movie channel. This demonstrates the ability of MPEG-H to deliver immersive sound as it's used in many movie productions today. The movie's audio can be played over speakers, or over a 3D soundbar of which we show an early Fraunhofer prototype here. By the way, the delivery of movies, episodics, or other MPEG-H content not only works for broadcast, but also for over-the-top services. The MPEG network is the world's first broadcast network operating with MPEG-H audio. This demonstration is completed by a pre-production prototype Samsung TV, which supports the interactive features of MPEG-H audio in a prototype Technicolor set-top box. With this demonstration, the MPEG-H Audio Alliance and Fraunhofer IIS show their commitment to the broadcast industry and their worldwide leadership in the field of broadcast and streaming audio technologies.